this video let's learn how to solve for the value of x comma y in this uh, nice olympiad exam question we are asked to find the value of x and y in 2x square minus 2y square equal to 98 and the condition given to us is that the x comma y must be element of natural number so how do we solve this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified maths content. Now let's get started. Now if we check the uh, right, the left hand side of this expression, you'll come to see that this uh, expression has what we call 2 and what and 2. So we're going to take the like term 2. And then when we take the like term 2, we're going to have this to become x square minus y square, right? And this will be equal to 98. So having done this, you'll come to see that we can truly simplify. If we simplify this, this can truly be divided by 2, Why the right hand will be divided by 2 in these steps. And if we divide this by 2, 2 will have to clear 2. And then we'll have uh, x square minus y square to be equal to 2 here 1. And 2 here is going to give us 4 and 9, right? So this is going to give us 49. So this is a new expression. We're going to uh, hold it to a high extreme. Now let's look at how we can simplify this. x square minus y square is a difference of 2 square. So recall for a difference of 2 square, we can have that expression to now give us x plus y, right? And then we'll have x minus y, and this will be equal to 49. Now, from this expression, you come to see that no matter what we do, x plus y definitely is greater than, or most especially, equal to x minus y. Now, recall the uh, condition in which this expression was given to us, that the solution x comma y must be element of natural element, natural uh, numbers now if we look at elements of natural numbers natural numbers are numbers between one two three and four now any number less than one which is zero and negative one are not natural numbers so we're going to we're not going to include them so having that condition we can come to see this expression to be equal to this expression can be equal to seven multiply by 7 right and this expression can also give us 49 right multiply by 1 49 multiply by 1 can give us uh, 49 so we are not going to include negative 7 multiply by negative 7 because they are not elements of natural numbers so we'll leave that aside so having seen this, we can now uh, see uh, the fact that this will work with the greatest number or will work with this while this can work with this because this can be equal to this. While this can be equal to this, this can also be equal to this. So those two expressions can form what we call a simultaneous equation. In the first expression, we can look at that expression to give us the value of uh, x plus y which we know can be equal to 7 and we'll have uh, x minus y which we know can be equal to 7. So in that other expression we can have this to become x plus y to be equal to 49 and then we can have this to become x minus 9 to be equal to 1 so 
If we solve these two expressions simultaneously, then we should be able to get the solution to x comma y. Now let's solve the right hand side simultaneously. If we solve this simultaneously using the elimination method, we're going to add these two expressions. x plus x is going to give us x 2x. Why this other place? This will have to clear this because we're adding plus y plus minus y is going to give us zero. While on this place, we're going to have this to become seven plus seven, that is 14. So if we divide here by two, and also divide here by two, we'll have this expression, the value of our x will be equal to seven. And that is the solution for x. Now on this point, we can truly find the value for y using the uh, first equation, equation one, x plus y equal to seven. So if we use x plus one equal to seven, x plus y equal to seven, with the value of x equal to seven, we we'll have our seven plus y to be equal to what? Seven. So with this, we can find the value of y. If we find the value of y, the value of y will be equal to 7 minus 7, and then the value of y will be equal to 0. So from this expression, we'll see that the value of uh, x, comma y, will be equal to 7, comma 0. That is the solution to the first expression. And the solution is according to the uh, condition given to us. Both are elements of natural number. Now let's look at this. This other solution, let's see if we can find the value of x, comma y. The value of x, comma y here, if we do, do the elimination method of both, this is going to give us 2x, right? While this clears this, this will be equal to 50, right? So we'll have this to be divided by 2 and this divided by 2. While this clears this, the value of our x will be equal to 50 divided by 2 will give us 25. So the value of our x in this point is 25. Now, using the first equation, x plus y equal to 49, we can find the value of our y. x plus y equal to 49. So the value of our a, y, if x is equal to 25, is 25 plus y equal to 49. So what do we have? We're going to have the value of our y to be equal to 49 minus 25. If we subtract 25 from both sides, then our y will be equal to 49 minus 25 will be equal to 24. So we'll have this to become 24. So from that expression, we'll come to see that x comma y will be equal to 25 comma 24 and that is the solution to those two uh to that e e e expression given to us above now we want to check if our solution is absolutely right and to do that we're going to use this uh, value that is given to us the original expression was reduced to x square minus y square equal to 49. So if you use this expression, the original expression, this, or you use this other one, we are going to still arrive at the same word solution. But let's use this uh, derived. We have x square minus y square equal to 49. So we're going to use this considering the first expression. We have the value of Let's check if our solution is right. We have the value of x square minus y square to be equal to 49. 
So in the false expression, the value of our x is what? 7. So we'll have 7 square minus 0 square. Will it give us 49? Let's check. If we simplify this, we are going to have that expression to become 49 minus 0. And this will be equal to 49. So we see 49 minus 0 is 49. And 49 is equal to what? 49. So that tells us that this expression x comma y equal to 7 comma 0 is true for the question given to us. Now let's try the second expression x comma y equal to 25 and 27. So to apply that we are going to have the first one 25 square minus 24 square will it give us 49 The square of 25 is going to give us uh, uh, 25 is going to give us 6 uh, 2 5, right? 6 2 5 minus 24 square is going to give us 5 7 6. When you point your calculator, is it going to give us 49? 4 2 5 minus 5 7 6 is definitely going to give us 49. So on this aspect, we see that 49 is equal to what? 49 on the left hand side. So that tells us that that expression x comma y equal to 25 and 45 is correct for the is a correct solution to the uh, question given to us above. I know you did enjoy watching this math solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.